kids keeps raining like Thursday, Friday, and I was bro, keep raining. And that was Sunday y'all right? Oh stop, oh, welcome back. going on guys it's your man c to the j to the c straight for the 305 miami date cali but y'all know i moved to orlando for college the after call decided to stick around in orlando and now y'all already know what it is if this is your first time joining my channel you know what to do hit that button hit that subscribe button so you can get the best story times on youtube boy what we doing here chino 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 welcome back it's your host c to j to c the most the host with the most Best story times on YouTube, y'all ain't no way there. Bring you back with another one, another one, another one, another one, another one. Y'all already know what's going on in the world today. Hope y'all, hopefully y'all all being safe out there. Y'all see a protest is going on. If you want, if you want protest, you will have a voice. Go, go out there, protest. Let your voice be heard. It's time for us to take a stand, and I hope all y'all being safe. And if y'all gonna protest, do y'all thing. Just be safe. That's what I'm saying. But yeah, like today we got another good story time, and y'all already know what it is. Today's story time, I, I just thought uh, this yesterday, I'm like, man, this should be a good story time to tell you, to uh, everybody. Even though nobody watch it, though, I think I'm talking to myself, but one day when I do, if I do get fast, well, I don't know, I'll probably give up on it because I'm tired of shit. <laughs> but one day if I do get fast, I'm going to say, go watch that story time today. Hey, y'all missed out on a good one. So today's story time, um... This happened like, like two years ago, 2018, and it was my final semester of college at University of Central Florida. And basically, um, in, in the College of Business, we had like different uh, majors and stuff like that, but the College of Business wasn't that big. So we ran out of space. So every time we ran out of space, they sent it to different colleges. That community, it's not community college no longer, but Valencia community, it's not community college anymore, but Valencia College East Campus, Valencia College West Campus, and they even had a deal with, um, um, what do you call that school again? Um, that's a, uh, damn, I forgot their name, but, um, but yeah, but basically, um, State College, whatever, whatever State College, um, State, State College, SS, SS, without I remember the name. Well, we went to SSC and basically um, we had a class there. So that class was, um, that class was, what the hell is going on with my memory? Like, bro, I can't remember this shit. Like, I'm tripping, bro. But y'all know um, Capstone, everybody got to do Capstone before they uh, graduate. So I had Capstone in um, State College, like SS State College. I forgot the, 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 what the S stands for. But basically, we basically um, had a class there, and Capstone was there. In the Capstone class, I, I always have to take, like, two buses to get there. Like, y'all know I take the public a bus one day. Hopefully, I get a car. Only God knows. But I take the pub, public bus, and I, I used to take two buses to get there. So, I always had to, like, leave two hours before class started to make it on time. You know, two hours. And basically make sure I go through the proper routes. And stuff like, if I missed the bus, it was a wrap. Like, I can't miss the first. I, I got to catch the first bus and the second bus exact time every time. So, basically, like, um, yeah. I basically have to, have to take two buses. And it was the same thing going back home. Two buses um, to go there, two buses to go back home. So, um, yeah, it was always tiring. Like, after class, we get out, like, at 7. And basically, like, to have to basically wait for a bus, then catch another bus after I get down um, uh, Fern Park Station and basically catch another bus and go, go home. It was crazy. So then it was a, 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 a guy. That's why I said some people, like, don't all, don't automatically think people you talk to on a daily are your friends. Like, people are so easy to give the title friend to someone without them earning it and proving they could be a good friend. Don't always be too quick to give the title friend or best friend or best or any of that shit because you see people, but you don't know people, if y'all know that saying. Like, you see them, but you don't know them. Like, you think you know them, but you don't. So, basically, like, um, there was this boy, his name, I think Carlos, let's give it that because I forgot the name, but Carlos, Carlos was in the capsule class with me and things like that, and I was walking one time. And then he was like, where are you going? And I said, um, I'm heading to, because he was driving past me while I was heading to the bus stop. 
And he, I said, oh, I'm going, I'm trying to get to UCF and basically catch the nut that's my home. And he basically said, oh, I could, I, I could drop you there. And he said, I'll have to drop you home. I could make the the, 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 the route shorter for you and get home more earlier. I said, oh, man, that helped a lot and things like that. He said, yeah, no problem, things like that. And I was like, oh, okay. I said, thanks, man. A guy in the car. And then basically, he was like, he basically listened to reggaeton, spanning rap and stuff, trap. And basically, um, we talked about music we listen to got to know talk about the class capstone we really like basically like bonded in, in that um no homo shit basically close to shit like that so yeah um got to know him and he was talking about his girlfriend uh got in a car i'll tell him the struggle of not having a car and losing out on a uh, possible relationship with girls all those things so we had a lot of good conversation he dropped me off to the, the school and basically i caught a bus i got home on time thanks to him so i told him back now i said appreciate things like that so one thing we all always do y'all know y'all do it too stop playing with me one thing we all always do is basically when somebody do a favor or, or something i generous and it really worked out for you when they do it once we expect it to constantly happen now like we don't we don't like oh like they said it was a one-time thing and stuff like that all mine all back and said oh this happened before and everything went well so why it can't continue happening <laughs> that's what we all back and start thinking y'all know that too stop playing with me but um but yeah like i basically said like yeah all right let, uh, uh, things like that so the next time capstone class there two classes to Two buses to get there. I said two classes. What the hell? Two buses to get there. Then I got to the capsule class. We did projects with my group. Huh? Then when he was leaving, uh, he was leaving the class. And basically, I was like, hurry up. I was doing a test. Hurry up because I kept this. Like, in my mind, that was already, that's my new ride. Like, it was so sweet getting home on time. My ass not trying to catch two buses to go back home now. You try to live the good life now. So, I hurried up right by. I said, hey, man, what's going on? And I said, hey, bro. And he said, things like that. We talking, all that stuff. And I said, all right. I said, well, I'm going to go to a bus stop. <laughs> You know that game we play, making people feel sorry for us. They're gonna be like, nah, don't worry, I die for us. So I said, I'm gonna head to a bus stop. I said, you get home on time, I'll see you next time. He said, all right, he said, yeah, it's so And I basically said, yeah, but I said, damn, now I gotta catch two buses to get home. <laughs> I play games, bro. I am playing games, bro. But then I was like, yo, yeah, but I said, hopefully I get that for and he said, damn, he said, he said, I was gonna go to a park. If you wanted to like wait for me at the park and, and or play, things like that. And then basically we could, I could drop you out of school and then you get home. I said, no problem. My body was already like, bro, I'm going with you. Like, I'm not trying to go to that stop. But then I said, you take it too long. So then, uh, yo, we got, uh, we drove to the park. He was playing basketball. I explored the park, actually. Got to see the apartment complex to ride. Not could join the basketball game, but I retired, man. So it happened. If y'all never saw that story time, see the reason why I quit playing basketball. And y'all gonna understand why. Go watch that story time. But um, I ain't played basketball. I was walking around complex. Then when he was done, we drove to the school and I got home. I, even after all that, I still got home like 30 minutes and I usually get home when I take bus. So it was still a good thing. And um, yeah, so the third time around, it, it came like natural after class joined him. And then he basically joined. He said, he said, oh man. I said, I said, oh, you gonna drop me today? And he said, oh man. He said, shit. He said, uh, he said, no problem. And then he was, I said, why are you saying shit? He said, never mind. And he driving, we talking and stuff like that. Then his girl called him. And he said, yeah, he said, yeah, yeah. He said, okay, okay, yeah. She's Spanish. She's sparking. He said, okay, I got you stuff. And he said, dang, man. I said, what happened? He said, oh, my girl, I gotta go pick her up. It's like, and she need to pick her ASAP. I told her a time. And I told her I'll be at her, her spot at 20 minutes. I said, all right, you can drop me off to school and then basically uh, try to get our time. Hopefully, you get there. And he said, nah, bro, I got to drop you off, like, right here. And I said, but I don't even know where this is at. You know if buses pass here? He said, I don't think so. And I said, so how I'm getting home? This nigga said, I don't know. You hear this? He said, I don't know. I said, so I said, you don't know if buses pass here? You just leave me in the middle of nowhere in this parking lot? And he said, bro, I got to go pick up my, my girl. And then like, he said, hopefully, fire away home, man. He said, I'll, I'll see you next class. I said, okay. I said, I'll, I'll find a way. And then I got down. This nigga drove past me and left. You hear this, bro? Bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> like, I'm waiting to beat that nigga. I, bro, I swear on everything. On my mom. <laughs> like, I was. I said, the next time, I will feel. 
This gig left me in the parking lot in the middle of nowhere where no buses pass. And that's how I'm calling my homie in Miami say you could, but I don't think Cash App was like relevant like that. So I told him, yeah, Cash App said, what's that? And I said, bro, I can't get home. I need to get home. He in Miami. I'm trying to get a help from somebody in Miami. Then I'm like, oh shit, my phone at 3%. I couldn't call my mom. I said, how the hell I'm getting home? So I said, let me try a lift. Now, one thing about Lyft, since I've been a great customer for so long, I don't know if y'all could do that. I could order a Lyft ride and basically not get charged until after the ride and I grade the Lyft rider. After I grade them, then they charge me. So, y'all, once y'all order a Lyft, y'all get automatically charged. Not me. I didn't know that at that time. So, I said, oh, shit, let me try to order a Lyft. I ordered a Lyft. Then the order went through. And I'm like, what the hell? I was shocked. I didn't know that I, I had that benefit of being such a good club client. Like, I could order a lift without even paying, and basically they won't charge me until after, right, after I create the lift rider. So then I ordered a lift, and I see no charge. It's a lift rider coming. Lift rider come in. I said, oh, my goodness. I said, God is good. Bro, that was a miracle. It's, it's a testimony. I said, like, that has to be a miracle from God. Middle of no, I don't know how I get there, and all of a sudden I get the benefit that I didn't even know I had. So then I'll, I'll, the lift driver told me, I'll tell him what happened. And he said, so but he paid this lift ride. I said, yeah, yeah. But I was lying. So I got home. I called my mom. So I told her, she said, oh, she, she was furious. She said, that boy, if you ever talk to him again, if you ever, I said, I'm not, I'm done with that nigga tomorrow. I said, think about that. Then basically, she, uh, uh, I said, oh, well, you got to give me the money so I can pay the lift driver. And she like that because I got a free ride. And she said, okay. And she sent me, cash out me money, paid the lift driver. But, uh, bro, that was crazy. Next time I went to class, <laughs> Bro, I even look at that nigga way. And he knew better. He never talked to me, never said a word to me, because he knew the disrespect. Bro, like, some people at least say, my bad, apologize. This nigga never said a word to me for the rest of the semester. But after that, like I said, watch out who you call friend and watch out who you associate with, because sometimes you think they haven't been, but once they have an opportunity, they'll show you their true color. Just look out, be strong, and that's for today's story time. It's your man, C.T. J.A.C. Y'all already know what it is, and I'm out. Be breezy. Yeah, most these niggas ain't tryna see you win. And I can't trust nobody, not interested in being friends. It's free all of my niggas till my niggas free again. Winning blind through these Cartiers, I can see again. I'm riding.